Hello, my name's Andrew with Hoffman Lawn Fertilization, and today I want to talk to you about mix rates and using a non-selective herbicide to kill weeds in the landscape beds. The product that we tend to use most is going to be Roundup Quick Pro. Let's talk about the mix rates real quick and what type of uh, device you'll use to put down this application. All right, so when performing these applications, what we are most often would use is either going to be this one gallon hand can or this backpack sprayer, which holds four gallons. So the mix rate that we would be using for our Roundup Quick Pro is 1.5 ounces. And here's a measuring tool right here. And this device holds 4.5 ounces in total. So if I'm using just this one gallon hand can. All we're going to mix up in it is 1.5 ounces of this granular material. And then in the four gallon backpack, what I would recommend is only filling it up to three gallons. That way, as you're walking around, it's not leaking out of the cap and then dripping on the lawn. So filling up this four gallon backpack to three gallons, you would require 4.5 ounces. It's important that you do not undermix or overmix this product. If you're looking for the best results, you need to be spot on. So when opening the Roundup Quick Pro, it is a trial proof cap, so you're gonna to need to apply pressure and push down, simply twist off. Here is your measuring device. So we're gonna measure just for this little uh, hand can right here. You will just kinda of shake it in. See what level we're at. You can see we're at 1.5 ounces. Make sure that you put the cap back on in case it spills. All right. Make sure that our measuring cup always goes back on. You don't want to end up in a situation where that gets lost. This one right here holds a gallon, but be sure to note that filling it all the way to the top would be more than a gallon. There's gonna be a line that indicates how much water is in it. All right. Well, one thing that you need to look out for is that it does have a tendency to foam over, so just be sure to fill it up slowly. We're about to start spraying. It's important to note that you can adjust your spray with the little nozzle here at the end. And to test that and get it just right for yourself, it's best to walk over to maybe the concrete or the driveway in an area where you won't be walking. You can simply spray it on the ground, see the pattern. It might be a stream or a cone. So you also don't have too high a pressure built up into the, the uh, sprayer because then you'll end up getting drift and you could kill desirable plants. So let's walk through the beds here and uh, we'll look for some weeds. In through the lawn, it's also important to carry your nozzle so it's, it's pointing up like this. Over time, if these things aren't cleaned out really good, you could end up getting some dripping that takes place. So we'll traverse across the lawn with it up in the air. All right, so when you're walking throughout the beds looking for weeds that need to be treated, ultimately the weeds that we're gonna be spraying are under two inches. If that weed is taller than two inches, we're gonna go ahead and just pull it. If you do have weeds that are very close to the base of a plant or close to a desirable plant, Always best, again, to just pull those ones because you could get drift and it could uh, it could affect those desirable plants. Leave here. Okay.